And look at all that gut, man. Atlanta, boy. Atlanta. I'm about to throw this on the ground. Why was I doing that? <clears throat> What's up, man? Fix this a little bit. You know what I'm saying, baby. What's up, man? So, as I sit here and I await the matchup between the greatest team in the world and the Atlantic Falcons. Um, I, I, I figure let me put something together. So, don't let, there's a song, let me just say this phrase, there's a song called Don't Let the Devils Steal Your Joy. And I remember learning, learning to sing that because I was gonna join the choir in college, but I was really joining it for the girls. And I didn't succeed at, at continuing. So anyway, the song was called De Don't Let the Devil Steal Your Joy. I think that's the title, but that's what the chorus was. And, you know, a lot of times that's what happens, man. Just in general, with this, what the point of this conversation is, people will steal your joy, man. <clears throat> and it's up to you not to let them, you know. I'm the type of person, I don't like starting my day off with no bullshit, man. You can't, you can't say or do anything to start my day off with no bullshit or I just won't even deal with you. I won't even deal with you for the rest of the day. You know what I mean? Because think about it this way. Here's the kick. Let me, let me kick some science to you real quick. You know what I'm saying, baby? If you wake up and you're in a bad mood, you're pretty much setting the tone for the rest of the day. Now, you do have the chance to have a better mood if something happens positive or whatever. But why not have your day start off great so that you can continue the path? See, my vision is this. If I get up and my day is great, and I recognize what is making it great, and I continue to do that so that it's easier for me to spot any bullshit coming my way. You understand what I mean? So, for me, I say good morning to everyone. Not morning, not how you doing, good morning. This way I'm putting it out there into the universe and I'm also putting it out there to my fellow man in hopes of reciprocation, reciprocity. Any of those words that you choose that fits, getting it back. You know what I'm saying? You can't be, you, let me tell you something, I, mean, I can't stand a person that takes and messes my day up, man. I used to deal with this one chick, man, and her, Another relative of hers used to start their day off grumbling. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And it's like, really, man, you just woke up. You know what I'm saying? If you're waking up every day and you're bad and you're feeling bad, just kill yourself, man. Kill yourself. You know what I mean? Because what's the point? Unless that's what, if that's what gets you your joy, which don't make sense to me, but if that's what gets you your joy, if you feel happy, feeling bad, then go on with it. But keep that shit away from me, man. Keep that shit away from me. You understand what I'm saying, baby? And as I go forth, I'm going to in enforce that like you would not believe. As I go ahead in life and get out of this situation I'm in right now, I'm going to enforce that like you wouldn't believe. I'm not going to be down with your bullshit. Keep it away from me, man. There is way too much positive stuff on the planet for you to be grumbling and mumbling and just letting the whole day be shot from the earliest part of that day. You understand what I mean? I don't know if you got anything else to say, man. I don't got too much more to say, man. You know, I'm just gonna drink this Corona. I had me a nice, a nice little uh, extra two, little sandwiches. You know what I mean? Philly, Philly cheese steaks with some hummus and some homemade guacamole. Two different meals on that, not all at one time. I'm feeling good, man. Not drunk and nothing. Just feeling in good spirits, man. Some good spirits. I'm also gonna take this week and I'm going to get back into dropping his weight, you know? At the, la at the last I seen, I was 228 pounds. When I started the challenge, I was 10 pounds heavier than that, I was 238. 
So I'm not doing bad, you know, but I'm starting to feel a little bit of slack on the energy. I don't, I don't have motivation to do stuff, you know what I mean? So it's time to get back to that. And uh, that's my goal for the week. Get back into that and continue to press forward. Eat, eat a little bit better than I've been eating. Push forward. You understand what I'm saying, baby? I hope that these things help you out, man, because I ain't just making these videos so that I can watch them. I'm making them to inspire you. Big shout out to my man, Bob. My man, Bob. You know who you are with the conversation we had today. I'm always going to have love for you and your family, man. Word up. Um, other than that, big shout out to all my peoples. Big shout out to all my supporters here. Big shout out to the new people that's digging me. You know, oops. Got to get back to my Vegas downtown words. <laughs> Yo, if you play video games, you play any of these games out here, man. I play Forge of Empires, and I play um, Family Guy, another freaking game, of another freaking mobile game. I play that. Um, what else? Angry Birds, Friends. Sometimes I play... Uh, uh, what's that? Bejeweled Deluxe, I think it is. Hey, just feel free to look me up, man. I-N-K-Y-M-A-N-N. -N, no matter what I'm on, that's my name. You understand what I mean? That is my name. So go ahead and find me there. Other than that, y'all be good, man. Until I feel like putting something up, putting something else up. Y'all be good, man.